What's up everybody, long time no see. I've been a little bit busy, but I'm back. So I finally finished the modular clone base. I had grand visions with it, but it just didn't come to fruition. So I just decided to make this video. I won't go into the details, but if you haven't seen the prior parts, I made four different parts going over terrain, the base wall rooms, and then like the roof of it. So if you wanna see those videos, check out, you know, the tags or in the description down below. So for the first part of this build, I wanted to make a hallway so that all the rooms could be connected by one access point, i.e. the hallway. I think a really important part of a fully modular clone base is that it all needs to be interchangeable and switchable and stuff like that for full customization. I'm just demonstrating that here, moving stuff around. This is a better view of the hallway. Tried to put a little bit more detail into this even though we don't really see it too much. But adding in the rooms is very easy, you just slide it in and it looks pretty good. Uh, for the top here, I'm just adding like higher walls just because I felt like the base itself was too low, especially for adding a landing platform on top. So I just built these little walls. Also, you can see in a little bit better. So then we go ahead and add the landing platform or artillery platform, whatever you want to do with it. But these all come off into three sections. On either side, you got the actual landing platforms and then a room in the back. And then in the middle, I added some other details like the radio tower and like some turrets. But overall, this thing looks pretty good. I wish I had lights inside, but at the time I didn't have any lights, but that's all right. I definitely like it raised a lot higher up. And I just added some more turrets here and there. And then I added this part here. It's just to add a little bit of distance between the actual rooms and where the base walls are gonna be. So for this instance, I'm gonna use this uh, gray base wall, which I really like. And then it's just as easy as adding in the terrain. So I added the snow terrain and an ATTE, and now we have our finished base. I think overall this looks really, really awesome. There's some things here and there that I could have adjusted and stuff like that to make it look a little better, but I think overall it came together pretty well. And now I just wanna show you how I can change out the terrains. So now I'm adding the desert terrain and I think it still flows really nicely. It looks pretty good, pretty seamless. And then it just adds a whole nother dynamic to like if I wanna change the seasons or the location or anything like that. Now I'm gonna take out this wall and put out uh, my desert kind of wall. I think this one matches the desert terrain perfectly. So if I wanted to change com locations completely but still have a clone base, I can now do that. And it's just as easy as putting it together and boom, there you go. But now the project's over and it's time for it to come to an end and this is just me taking it all apart and on to the next project. So next video I'm going to have out is some alt builds consisting of the clone versus droid set. It's going to be 10 total alt builds so be on the lookout for that but it's going to range from using just one set to five sets. I have a couple different projects in the works and a lot planned for the future. I want to get some stuff done and out before Brickworld Chicago so if you're going I'll see you there but enough teasing I got a lot of work to do. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.